welcome to a smoky McKellar Park and the nation's capital for round seven of the W League has forced me second with the hosts Canberra United welcoming the high-flying Western City Wanderers to their partisan and hazy home venue. The Wanderers haven't enjoyed the best of times against United in this competition with only a solitary win to their name in 10 attempts, whilst their record in Canberra is even worse, only one draw in five matches and only one goal to boot. But this is a different red and black outfit, one that's riding the crest of a wave and playing some outstanding football looking to qualify for the finals for the first time in their history. Santa has been and gone for another year and despite whatever the big fella left in both Heather Garriock and Dave Heffernan's respective Christmas stockings, you can bet your bottom dollar that all either we're wishing for is a maximum return from this encounter. It's Simone Charlie looking to unleash something herself. Gets a shot away, but Smith watched it all the way through. United's leading goal scorer. Doesn't mind an effort from there. Charlie wants a return. Three green shirts if she can pick one out in the penalty area. Swung towards the far post. Torchnet's arriving. Couldn't quite get her header on targets, but United going close. Charlie's cross and Torchnet's will feel that maybe she could have tested the keeper. Looking to burst away, we know she's got a cannon of a left foot. She fires on a goal and forces a save from Carnes, plunging low to her left. Yeah, that's, a, that's a welcome into the game for Sham Carmes. She's happy to, to push that one around the post and it's a great save from her and a, a great run there from Hamilton. Her delivery opportunity on the far post, the header loops over the goalkeeper and the Wanderers lead and it's Kyra Cooney cross again. Her fourth of the season, the visitors in front. What a great ball in there and then Kyra Cooney cross. She just has to put it on target and she's done a great job of it. And here's the celebration as well. Cheeky goal celebration down here on the near side. Runners either side. It's Hamilton. O'Sullivan onto that left foot and forces a save from Sean Carmes. One end to the other sharply from Western Sydney. Stab launches it into the area again. Might fall for O'Sullivan. Gets a shot away at Denise O'Sullivan. Haunting her former club, her first W League goal, and she takes it in some style as well. And Western Sydney Wanderers go 2 0 up. Hamilton finds Williams. Looking to run at the Canberra defence again. Space on the edge of the box for Hamilton, who sweeps one off the post. Carmis was a spectator. Sharp turn from Hamilton, brilliantly done. Second effort, oh, and she somehow squeezed it in from the acutest of angle. And a goal for Kristen Hamilton, her fifth of the season, and that probably wraps up the points for the Wanderers. And Williams has timed this perfectly. Here's Lynn Williams. Will she get her name on the score sheet? No. Not on that occasion. She's still going there, the striker. Here's Williams, she does in the end. Persistence pays off. It's four for the Wanderers, and Williams scores her fourth of the season. And they're ripping United apart on the break. Deep enough into stoppage time that Rebecca Durkow says that's enough, and Western City Wanderers go top of the league with a very, very good performance. This match in the Westfield W League has finished Cambry United nil, Western City Wanderers four.